Hello everyone, a very, very good afternoon. Welcome to Home Choir. We've made it to the end of another week, ladies and gentlemen. It is Fun Friday, and what a fun Friday we have lined up for you today. Something a bit different, a bit unusual. It's an interactive day, where if you have one of these magnificent instruments and tolerant neighbours, we're going to be playing along with a whole load of our favourite Fun Friday songs with this magnificent ukulele, the traditional Hawaiian instrument. So if you have one of these, we'll be talking about how to tune it, how to play it. And just please remember, if you're not used to playing one of these and you've just got your instrument out, maybe with some nice new strings, just bear in mind that um, it's going to make your fingers a bit sore. This entire session will be recorded for you. You can come back to it any time you like and use it as a revision aid. And we've got some of our absolute favourites transcribed with chords for you to play along with. Now, I hope you like the t-shirt. I'm the choir master. So uh, let's just assume that I'm never wrong to save time. Uh, can't imagine why I thought that'd be good. Do you also like this? A, a, here's the updated, brand new, massive backdrop. And I'm going to move back. This is so, here we go. How about this? Wide screen. This is so I have space to come back here and to play for you all. Now, of course, the shelves are all still back there but I thought it would be a little bit cleaner, a little bit easier for you to see what was going on on the instruments. You see, I'm always thinking about how to make life, I think, more interesting and more fun for all of you. So there we are. Now, in terms of how we're all feeling, so much better, ladies and gentlemen, so much better. The lurgy, dreaded COVID has, I think, touching wood, left Patchway Cathedral. Uh, I am so much better, 99% back to normal. Just the odd little remnant every now and then, but I'm feeling fantastic. Anna is similarly uh, doing very well. And Bobby, well, he is currently uh, on a school trip to the Bristol City Museum, and he's exceptionally excited about today. Do you know how we can tell everyone? Usually, on a school day, we go and get him up, and he is completely sparko. He's just like this, you know, line of drool, toys everywhere. This morning, Anna went to get him up. He was lying in bed in his school uniform with his school bag on, sat up, bolt, right, bolt upright, hadn't slept in the uniform, had got up, got dressed, and then lay down ready to uh, to get up. He was just champing at the bit to go to school today because he gets to go to the museum. Uh, so I'm sure he's having a lovely time, particularly as the weather is so good. So I uh, hope you're all very well, everyone, and uh, just lovely to see you all. Thank you again for all of your lovely messages. Um, we'll be talking in a minute about next week and Sing and Send. If you do have one of these to hand, well, brilliant. You can have lots of fun. But if you don't, you still get to sing along and have fun with it anyway. And it's a, it's a chirpy, cheery, fun Friday sort of sound. It's the ukulele, isn't it? It's good fun. So anyway, I'll just run through the sound checks. And then I shall be right with you, as always. So because this is a slightly different setup, and I don't have my same uh, the same equipment around me, I've actually reorganised a lot of this to fit all this in, you'll have to bear with me. Now let's just check. How's this sound if I do this? I've moved the microphone, you see. Can we hear this? Yes, we can. Yeah, did my Lord deliver Daniel, deliver, Daniel, deliver, Daniel. Yeah, that's the only way. It's just about holding its tuning. It's not quite cantile levels of uh, susceptibility to atmospheric change, but it's not far off. Now, is the piano working? I'm not going to use it a lot today, I think, but it is. It's sounding quite fruity. We've got some backing tracks. Should we get to it? We've got Mari's Wedding. Lovely. Have a bit more of that, I think. Step wiggily on we go. Lovely. We should have eyes the by. Another one that we'll be playing along with. Excellent. So that's all sounding good. I've got my coffee. Got my buttons. We've got happy birthdays. We've got some birthdays to celebrate today. I think we're ready to go. So hello, everyone. Of course, we're not starting officially for five minutes yet. So this is just my time to pop up and have a chat with you all. I want to start by welcoming everyone who's joined us in the last few weeks. Everyone who's here watching, but it's not live at the moment. You're watching it later on. And just thank you for making Home Choir part of your day. A huge thanks to everyone who leaves us lovely messages underneath the videos. Haven't been able to get to them quite as quickly uh, recently because of COVID, but I shall be catching up with all those lovely messages. And huge thanks to everyone who comes along and watches the show later. Hello to everyone who's here live. 
uh, but not necessarily here in the live chat. A very, very good morning to Helen and to Bill. Thank you so much for your lovely messages. I should be getting back to you after this broadcast. Hello to Sue and Tony. Hello to Sally and Annie and to Maureen. Hello to Val. Hello to dear Kit Kat, who is not very well, sending lots of love to, to you, Kit Kat. I understand there won't be Zooms for a little while until Kit Kat's recovered, um, but lots of love. Hope you feel much better soon. Hello to Anne and to her friend Linda. Hello to Charlotte and to her mum, Nikki. Hello to Huyen and to everyone else. And then hello, everyone over here. Um, Barbara, it's great to hear that, Ru uh, that um, Moose is making a recovery. I read that he's uh, cheeky. And uh, obviously still a little bit tender, but he's getting better. So that's great news. I'm so glad to hear that. Hello to Atty. Hello, Alison. Hello, Barbara. Hello to Carol and to Bumble and Bee. Hello to Carolyn on the island. Hello to Kathy. Kathy, thank you for your email. I have replied to it. And uh, that's absolutely fine. Hello to Christine and to Terry. Hello to Christine and to Peter. Hello, Christine and to Malcolm. And I'm sure Christine will be along in a minute, but three of you, that's a great turnout. Hello, Colette. Glad to read you're feeling better. Hello, Dorothy. Hello, Eileen. The weather here in Bristol is gorgeous. It must be tropical in Nailsea. Hello to Elizabeth. Hello, Emma. Hello, Fiona. Hello, Gaynor. Hello to Jill. Hello, Glennis. Hello, Epi. Hello, Irina. Hello to Jackie. Hello, Janet. Hello, Jean. Hello, Jill. Hello, Judith. Judith, thank you for your lovely messages on Twitter. Hello to Julie. Hello, Kareth. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Michael. Hello to Nicola. Hello, Nikki. Hello, Nina. Guntag Norv. Hello, Patricia. Hello to Rona. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Soraya. Hello, Stuart. Hello, Sue. Hello, Susanna. Hello to Valda. Hello to Terry. Uh, hello to Barbara, who's just joined us as well. Oh, you can tell it's fun Friday. It's a great turnout. And there is Lindsay. Happy birthday to you, Lindsay. Hope you're having a lovely day. And we have a couple of birthdays to celebrate. Uh, it's your birthday today, obviously. And tomorrow, it's James and Jennifer's birthday. So we will sing happy birthday to all three of you very shortly. And we'll sing happy birthday to James again on Sunday. A bonus extra birthday sing um, because he'll be there. All right. So I've had a special request from Judy. Please can we sing happy birthday to James on Sunday, even though his birthday's tomorrow, which of course is absolutely fine. So, how's everyone doing? Well, I hope. Oh, lovely coffee in my in my Scots mug. Thanks again for this, Jill. Fabulous. Now, uh, if you've got your ukulele, remember it's not a ukulele. I, I, I struggle with this when I teach, particularly people here in the UK. I've got my ukulele. It's not a ukulele. It's an ukulele. Say it with me, everyone. Ukulele. It's a much nicer sound, isn't it? And so you don't play the uke, you play the ook. I'm going to get my ook. And remember, I've told you all before, the translation of it is jumping flea. Ukulele. And we have so much to, uh, to, to thank the Hawaiian culture for, because it was the Hawaiian lap guitar that directly inspired the creation of the first electric guitars. That very, very first uh, electric guitar, which is basically a railway sleeper with strings. And um, uh, uh, it was Les Paul who invented it, strung a railway sleeper and put electric pickups on it and then made a guitar body around it. So it, it looked and felt more like a guitar, but all inspired by the Hawaiian lap guitar. So the ukulele, part of a glorious tradition from that wonderful part of the world. OK, so get your ook out indeed. Ook, ook, ook. 27 degrees in Wimbledon, tennis after the singing. What a fantastic afternoon, Christine. That sounds absolutely gorgeous. Now, it's lovely to welcome everyone. I see we've been joined by a few more people. Say hello to Janet. Uh, hello to all of you. Judy says, does that make the guitar a leaping grasshopper? Depends on how, st how strenuously you play it. I would suggest to all of you, though, take it easy this afternoon, particularly if you're playing along on one of these lovely instruments. Just bear in mind, if you're not used to playing it every day, you might end up with an owie at the end, or maybe even a few owies on your fingers. Just be gentle with yourselves and uh, enjoy. That's the whole point of Fun Friday, after all. So do please have a good time, everyone. Make sure you've got your drinks handy. If you have one of these, we'll be tuning it up in just a minute. Otherwise, we'll be using our voices as we always will. So everyone, here we go. I'm going to give you a chord. Oh, what should we have to say? It's at the C9 chord. Home choir. Ready, everyone? Nice deep breath. And... Uh... wonderful singing and a very good afternoon everyone welcome to fun friday and this particular show is a very special show as you can tell i've got the backdrop out we're in the void 
rather than surrounded by all my shelves and my lovely toys and books and games and so on. Because I want to teach you a little bit today about this lovely instrument here, the ukulele, the traditional Hawaiian instrument with four strings. And I think many of you have these kicking around your houses. Some of them even have strings. So let's see how we can get on today. Uh, let's before, uh, before we crack on with any of that, let's have a look at what we've got on the roster for this afternoon. Now, we may not get to all six of these songs. It's quite an ask. Uh, usually we only manage five songs in a broadcast, but we'll see. Uh, we'll start with Shoe Fly, which is a very simple song. It needs only two chords, C and G. We'll look at those in a minute. Then we'll have a look at one or two of the next. We've got Mari's Win, which requires G, C and D. Our Fly Away, which uses the same three chords. The big tune for today, of course, is Leaning on a Lamppost. Leaning on a lamppost at the corner of the street In case a certain little lady comes by and I've got some people watching specifically for that song. So we'll be looking at that. Make sure you're ready for that. Uh, and then uh, if we have time, I'll have a look at Eyes the Bye and Rockin' Robin. Any that we don't do this week, we will push into our next ukulele broadcast. Now, just looking ahead to the rest of the week, of course, we have our Sing Sunday program uh, this coming Sunday. Looking forward to that enormously. Your performance of I Waited for the Lords, some Bach and some Purcell, some really lovely music. And then next week, Folk Monday, well, we're calling it the Full English. And this is a special little nod to choir of the earth who are going to be learning the beautiful lark ascending by ray form williams and i know that not everyone knows this piece but do please after this broadcast put in choir of the earth lark ascending into youtube and watch the video that we put up just yesterday the guide tracks recorded by the fieri consort the violin is played by charles motor it is an incredible performance absolutely beautiful um and not many people have heard this choral arrangement of the lark uh, now, we won't be singing The Lark Ascending, but we will be singing a couple of Vaughan Williams folk songs and more besides on Mondays. A little tribute to Choir of the Earth. Sing and Send is back on Wednesday, and we're going to be looking at that handle, Save Us, O Lord. Now, the website has been updated with all the details for that, including One Voice Louder parts and teaching and everything else. So go over to the website, Sing and Send, and it's down at the bottom of that page. It will, of course, be in the newsletter. Uh, one quick note about Sing and Send. If you want an extension for the Schubert Ave Maria, that's fine. But can you please get it to me by this coming Monday? OK, by Monday, the 11th of July at the latest, because I'm already in the mix for that. And so any that arrive after that, unfortunately, I won't be able to include uh, for our Sunday that follows. Well, we'll be singing some Handel and, of course, that lovely Ave Maria. Next week on Fun Friday, we're going to be doing some drinking songs. Now, we won't be drinking alcohol, at least I won't be during the broadcast, but we will be learning some uh, some good songs, including Show Me The Way To Go Home, or as, uh, as we sing at university, Indicate The Way To My Habitual Abode, I'm Intoxicated And I Wish To Retire, and so on. So uh, some drinking songs next week. Uh, full English, say with a lot, it's going to be a lot of fun. So do join us for that. And of course, all the details are in our email newsletter. Do just go to our website, click on newsletter, fill it in and you're done. Now, we're going to have a, an odd warm up today because we're going to use the ukulele to warm up. So if you have one of these, please get it ready. And we're going to quickly tune and then we will warm our voices and our instruments up together. And we're going to sing happy birthday to a couple of lovely choristers who are celebrating their special day today. So... This is an ukulele. It has four strings, everyone. And unlike a guitar, which tunes its strings from the lowest to the highest as you move across from one, two, three, four, five, six on a guitar, this has four strings. And if you just listen, the lowest string is actually string two. So that's the lowest string. String three is the next one up. String one is the third one highest. And then string four is the highest. So it is C, E, G, A. I'll say those again. C, E, G. So that forms that chord of C. And then A on the top. And you play all four of those together. You get that nice chord. Now, what we're going to do, ladies and gents, for those of you, if you need to tune, then please uh, pause the broadcast. You can use a standard guitar tuner. Uh, you can get them for very, very little money on your phones. Or you can even go to websites and put in ukulele tuner into Google Go along and tune your instrument up. Just be really, really careful, really fastidious, and making sure that you're as in tune as possible. If your strings are new, you will need to stretch the strings before you tune them, because otherwise they'll slip out of tune really, really quickly. Now, the first chord we're going to play together as part of our warm-up and our starter today 
is the chord of C. And you can see here on screen, I've got the indicators as to what's going on. Now, the diagrams, just to make it clear, the little O's at the top indicate an open string. So that means you don't need to put any fingers down. So these first three strings on this chord of C, all the way to the left, are just open strings. You don't need to put any fingers down on the fretboard and you've got a chord of C. Now what we need to do is we need to put your third finger, you have four fingers and a thumb, fingers one, two, three, your third finger goes on the fourth string in the third space, just here. And then you play all four strings and you get a chord of C. And if you hold it like that, it's like you're coming up from underneath. Remember, use that third finger there. And we go, ma, 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 everybody, and ma, 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 ma. Lovely. Now let's run up and down uh, a little scale. So, ma, 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 two, three, four. Ma, 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 ma. Lovely. Now let's have a look at the other chord. And if, once we've got this one done, we can start playing songs. This other chord here is a little bit trickier, okay? It requires three of the strings to have your fingers on. It needs fingers one, two, and three. And this is going to be a chord of G, okay? Now, as we look at the neck of the ukulele, remember it's an ukulele, not a ukulele, we leave the first string open, this one here, and we put our first finger, that's your index finger, on the second string in the second space, not up here, in the second space. Then you put your middle finger, finger two, on the fourth string, in the same space. Okay, so you can see that there. Then you put string, uh, your finger three, which is your ring finger, in between the two on the next space down. So it forms a little triangle, little arrow pointing down the neck. So this string is open. Then you've got finger one on the second space on the second string, finger two, second space, fourth string, finger three in the third space, third string, to form that little arrow. And that makes this sound. Okay, so let's just play that chord a few times and we'll sing a ma 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 to this. So we're going to go ma 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 and ma 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 and again ma 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 after me ma 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 and ma 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 now let's do it again ma 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 Ma, 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 ma. Wonderful. Now, what we're going to try, and this is going to take a bit of practice, but those of you for whom this is a brand new activity, is we play the chord of C, and then we need to play the chord of G, one after the other. So let's do that chord of C, which is just that finger down, like that. Brilliant. I can hear people's brains whirring at this point. And let's play the G chord. Lovely. And then back to the C. And this, if this is all you do today, if this is all you manage to do, this is a big, big step. That G chord is not an easy one, but it is a really, really, really useful chord to know. So let's play a chord of C. Ready? Three, four, C, two, three, and again, C. Now let's play a G chord, careful. G, two, three, four, G. Wonderful. Okay, now let your fingers rest for a minute. Let's sing happy birthday to a couple of home choristers. In fact, three home choristers were celebrating their special day today. So it is dear Lindsay's birthday. And tomorrow it is James's birthday that we will also be singing him happy birthday on Sunday because he'll be here at the broadcast for that. And it is Jennifer's birthday as well. So to all three of you, whether you're celebrating it today or tomorrow, happy birthday. And let's all sing together to Lindsay, James and Jennifer. One, two. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. to all three of you now then i see a couple of people talking about playing the guitar if you play the guitar the way to think about the ukulele is just imagine a guitar but you take the two lowest strings off and then most of the other chords that you know on the guitar translate well so this chord this g chord we've just been learning is the same shape as the d chord and the c chord is the same shape as the g chord just without the top two strings so it, it, it takes a little bit of getting used to but the shapes are all derived from that guitar shapes that we know and I'm going to say love. So everyone, let's make a start today. We're going to sing Shoe Fly, Don't Bother Me. And if you're going to play along, 
you can see here I've put the chords up on screen. We've got the C chord, shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother C. C, 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 G, 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 C. Now, if you want to, you can just play a single chord per line, okay? But if you have one of these, if you have a, a pick or a plectrum, do you like this? Anna brought this back for me from Japan. You can have a bit of a strum, and let's all sing together. Shoe fly, don't bother me, using these two chords of C and G. Are we ready? Two, three, four. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. For I belong to somebody. And again. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. For I belong to somebody. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel like a morning star. I feel, I feel, I feel, G, G. I feel like a morning star. C, C. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel like a morning star. G. I feel, I feel, I feel, back to sea. Feel like a morning star. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me, for I belong to somebody. Singing bird. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel like a singing bird. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel like a singing bird. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel like a singing bird. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel like a singing bird. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. For I belong to somebody. Sunflower, I feel, I feel, I feel. I feel like a big sunflower. I feel, I feel, I feel. I feel like a big sunflower. I feel, I feel, I feel. I feel like a big sunflower. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel like a big sunflower. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. For I belong to somebody. Last verse. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel like a real good thing. I feel, I feel, I feel. I feel like a real good sing. I feel, I feel, I feel. I feel like a real good sing. I feel, I feel, I feel. I feel like a real good sing. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. For I belong to somebody. Ladies and gentlemen, well done. Now, if that is your first time ever playing along on ukulele, your fingers are going to be sore. So give them a shake out, blow on them, go, ah, all the things everyone does whenever they play one of these instruments. If you're watching this later on, perhaps weeks, months, years from now, well done. Okay, this is all safe for you. Come back, have a go at this. It really is a lovely instrument. It's great fun to play. Often you'll find the strings are made of nylon, which is so much more... Uh, I suppose forgiving on your fingers but you will still have as you can see here you will still have some calluses so just be gentle with yourselves now then everyone uh, as i glance at the comments i see we're joined by even more lovely people hello to michael hello sue it's lovely to see you all i hope you're all having a great day we are playing the ukulele today now we're going to introduce a third chord everyone we've been, we've had c we've had g now, D, as you can see here, I've not put the fingers on here. I've not put suggested fingers because there are several ways of playing this chord. It depends on how big your hands are. Now, if you have tiny, delicate, dainty little fingers, well, then you might want to use fingers one, two, and three and just put them down, as we can see here on strings, one, two, and three, and in the second space. Okay, not the first space, the second space. One, two, three, and then play all four strings. Now, the problem comes when you've got great big, galumping hands like mine and trying to get all of those fingertips and to, to avoid the strings going thunk, 
you've actually got to squash your fingers in. So what a lot of people do, myself included, and this is a more advanced technique, um, but those who play guitar will know this, is instead of trying to use your fingertips, and you do need to use the flesh of your fingers, I'm afraid, to hold the strings down, is to use the, the flat of your finger, usually the second finger, and you press down and you cover all three strings with the, the flat of your finger. Now I'm leaving this string clear at the bottom, but otherwise I've got... Okay, and that's a D chord. And that I can still play my C, D, G. Just needs a little bit more practice to get between those three. So a good exercise is just to play one chord at a time. C, D, G, and just get that pattern going round and round. It doesn't happen overnight but if you practice, it will pay off. So let's have a go. And for some of you, you might just be playing on thinking the only one I can do is C. And in that case, what I'm gonna to say to you is as we sing I'll Fly Away, we're just gonna do a little version of this. Don't worry about playing any of the chords you don't wanna play, just play whenever C comes back. So we sing, oh, in fact, I've just noticed, oh yeah, we are in G. So some bright morning when this life is o'er, I'll fly away. So you might wanna play C whenever that happens. And then you can play along, but not necessarily play all the chords. But let's have a little play through this. So this one needs C, G, and D. And this is I'll Fly Away. Ready? Two, three, four. Some bright morning when this life is over, I'll fly away to that home on God's celestial shore. that again some bright morning when this life is over i'll fly away to that home on god's celestial shore i'll fly away i'll fly away fly away oh glory i'll fly away Die. Hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away. There you are. It's a lovely little tune. Very, very simple. Uh, and as you can tell, if you are happy, once you know the chord shapes, you can strum away like nobody's business. Or you can just play one chord per line and it still works. It's really effective. Now I've seen some questions here. It's lovely to see so many people join us since we started the broadcast. Hello to Molly. Lovely to see you. And Mike, uh, Michael has been asking. It's a really good question. I want to learn the guitar. Is the ukulele a good instrument to get started on? Absolutely it is. It's a really, really good starter instrument. You will find that you get if you can start with a guitar, it doesn't have to be a full-sized one. It doesn't have to be one with metal strings. I would recommend nylon string guitars for uh, beginners. But with those extra two low strings, you get far more in the way of chords. But something like this isn't going to be expensive. Um, I mean, this, to be fair, this is quite a nice one. Um, but you can spend, you know, 10, 15 pounds on uh, a ukulele and just get the feel of it. Just play these basic chords, have a lot of fun with it. Four strings means there's only that, that number of notes that you can play at any one time. And it really is, as you've seen, the C chord, just one string. There's another chord which we'll learn later on, A7, which is again, just one fret down. And with something as simple as that, it's actually quite easy to pick it up and just make music. Now then everyone, let's have a look. Uh, let's have a bit of a play. Let's use these chords. So we've we've learnt, well, we, we're in the process of learning, I should say. We know our G chord. Our C chord is easy. And that D chord, the one I was telling you about, which is those three frets, one, two, three here, and the second second space. Let's play along with Maori's Wedding, shall we? Okay, and then we'll have a look at leaning at a lamppost because I know there's people desperate for that one. So let's have a play through. Maori's Wedding, as we can see, we're going to start on G. And you might just want to just stick with the G chord and just play one per line. Okay, so if you want to, you can just play that, form the G chord and play along. Everyone else, let's sing together. Here is Mari's Wedding. 
Nice deep breath. Two, three, four. Step we gaily on we go, heel for heel and toe for toe, arm in arm and row on row, C and D, G, G, C and D and G, two, three, four, C and D and again, G, G, C and D and G. And D, G, and C, D, you've got it now, C, D, and again, G, C, and D, and G, and C, and D, and G. Step we gaily on we go, hill for hill and toe for toe, arm in arm and row on row, all for man is wearing red cheeks as the Romans are, brighter eye as any star, very stop them all by far, is my darling Marty. Step we gaily on we go, hill for hill and toe for toe, arm in arm and row on row. Up on the, on the D chords. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. And I appreciate it. again for those of you for whom this is new, it's going to be really overwhelming. Your fingers are going to hurt. You'll be like, I can't, can't keep up with it. Just play the simplest part you can. Find the find one chord and just play it over and over and over again. Just get used to the feel of the in instruments in your hand. Get used to the feel of the strum. Focus on getting it on the strong beat and then build up. If you can play one chord slowly, then you will be able to play lots and lots of chords quickly with practice. All right, well done everyone, fabulous. Now we're gonna come back to Eyes of the Bar if we have time, and I know some people are disappointed, but we have to get on and have a look at the new song for today. And this is I'm Leaning on the Lamp Post. And this of course was made famous by the great George Formby. And a particular hello to anyone out there who's a fan of George Formby. I know that Cy uh, is a big fan of George Formby. So I hope you've got your instrument ready, Cy. And I want you singing very, very loudly. And I want you to do lots and lots of very loud practice. Okay, there we are. <laughs> now then, I'm leaning on the lamppost. One of the great things about this is that it's in C. And this A minor chord is, is the greatest chord on the ukulele. And I'll tell you why in a minute. So we find our C chord. And we sing, I'm leaning on the lamppost. And you see, that chord, no fingers required. Because it's A, C, E, and G. And that just happens to be the notes of the ukulele. So you play your C chord. Leaning on the lamppost at the corner of the street. And then we play our G chord, which we've been practicing today. In case a certain little lady comes by. I'm afraid that C is in the wrong place. That's my fault. The by is on the, the C is on the by there. So let's try that first line. Those of you that uh, want to sing along, here we go. Two, three. I'm leaning on the lamppost at the corner of the street. In case a certain little lady comes by. Fabulous. Then we play G O me. Oh my. I hope that little lady comes by. And that chord there, of course, is that D, which we've been practicing. So let's go from the beginning again. I'm leaning on the lamppost. Two, three, four. I'm leaning on the lamppost at the corner of the street in case a certain little lady comes by. Oh me. Oh my, I hope that little lady comes by. And then the rest of the chords, well, it's like this. Oh, she's wonderful, she's marvellous, she's fabulous, she's beautiful, and anyone can understand why. 
Okay, so the same chord C. Wonderful. She's marvelous. Fingers off. She's fabulous. She's beautiful. And anyone, that G chord, can understand C chord Y. Now, the next bit's a bit of a fudge, I will be honest, because there's a few, there's a whole load of chords that I've just simplified to just a G chord for those of you who are learning. I'm leaning on the lamppost at the corner of the street in case a certain little lady comes by. Now, if you want to learn the full version, you can find all sorts online. And you need an F chord, you need an E chord, and all sorts of others. We're not going to get to that today, but maybe in a future session. I'd like us to sing this all together. Now, if you have a lamppost to lean on, well, then please do. And uh, do keep this as cheeky and as northern as you can. It has indeed turned out nice again, hasn't it? So let's sing all together. And remember, Sai, I'm looking to you. Loud practice as often as possible, preferably in the presence of your lovely lady. Here we go. I'm leaning on the lamppost at the corner of the street In case a certain little lady comes by Oh me, oh my I hope that little lady comes by Oh she's wonderful, she's marvellous, she's fabulous She's beautiful and anyone can understand why I'm leaning on the lamppost at the corner of the street In case a certain little lady comes by And again I'm leaning on the lamppost at the corner of the street In case a certain little lady comes by Oh me Oh my I hope that little lady comes by Oh, she's wonderful, she's marvellous, she's fabulous, she's beautiful, and anyone can understand why. I'm leaning on the lamppost at the corner of the street in case a certain little lady comes by. Turn that nice again, doesn't it? <laughs> now, you might be thinking... Has he completely lost it? Well, you had to have it before you could lose it in the first place. The one thing I do regret is this is not quite the right instrument. If I just show you the card for today, that is George Formby. And you notice it's not a ukulele. He didn't play the ukulele. He played the banjo lele, which is a mutant crossbreed between the ukulele and a banjo. And uh, it is on my list of things that I want. Um, but you know, there's a big, there's a huge gulf in, in terms of musical instruments between things that I want and things that I need. Um, so, um, yeah, it, it, there may be one <laughs> that appears at some point, but I'm going to have to sneak it in at this point because goodness me, this room is full of music. Now let's crack on everyone. We've got time for, do you know what? Let's finish with Eyes the Bye. We'll do, we'll do Rockin' Robin. We might finish that as an encore and I'm not going to expect people to sing or to play along with that, but let's finish our play session today with Eyes the Bite uses the same three chords we've been looking at. You need your G chord, you need your C chord, and you need your D chord. And the nice thing about this is if you're finding the transition between the chords tricky, you're not alone. Just find the G chord, that little arrow one, one, two, and three, pointing down the neck, and you can just play Eyes the Bite, the bills, the board, and Eyes the Bite, the sails her. Eyes the Bite, the catches the fish and brings them home to Liza. So you play the chord on the first of each of those three lines and then play it on Liza at the end of the verse. It's the same thing all around the circle. That fourth line, you play it on the last word. And then you don't have to worry about changing. But if you can change, it's a great song to play on the ukulele. So let's finish officially our play, song, our play around today with this fabulous song, Eyes the By. Here we go. Here we go. Uh. Eyes that buy the bills that board And eyes that buy the sails her And eyes that buy the catches the fish And brings them home to Liza Hip your partner Sally T. Bow Hip your partner Sally Bow Bow and twilling and Gordon's Harbour All around the circle Suds and rice a cup of flake And cake and tea for supper And hot fish in the spring of the year Fried in bag tea butter Hip your partner Sally T. Bow Fish, and that's no good for winter And I can buy as good as that To town in Bonavista Hip your partner Sally T-Bow Hip your partner Sally Brown Forgot Twilling and Wharton's Harbour All around the circle Let's take Liza the dance I took Liza to a dance And faith and she could travel And every step that she would take Was up to her knees in gravel Hip your partner Sally T-Bow Around the sun. 
a fish and bring some home to Liza. Hip your partner, Sally T. Bowe. Hip your partner, Sally Brown. Four girls will engage Walt and Sarver all around again. Hip your partner, Sally T. Bowe. Hip your partner, Sally Brown. Four girls will engage Walt and Sarver one more time. Hip your partner, Sally T. Bowe. Hip your partner, Sally Brown. Four girls will engage Walt and Sarver all around. Everyone, I really hope you enjoyed singing along. And those of you that played, ha ah, blow on those fingers, all right? Bit of ice afterwards, and then come back tomorrow or the day after. Maybe to maybe give your fingers a chance to heal, but come back the day after. Watch this broadcast. Keep working on those three chords, just those three C, G, and your D chord. And you can play so many songs, it's unbelievable. And then have a look at ukulele chord charts and see which other songs take your fancy. Now, we did have one more on the list, and I'm going to finish with this, because I don't think anyone's ever played Rockin' Robin quite like this. So this is, if you want to play along, if you're a more advanced player and you've been sitting there going, I want to use my A chord. Well, there we are. A7. A7 is a great one, because it's just finger one on the second string in the first space. And if you've got to go, I'll see you on Sunday. Don't be late. We've got a fabulous thing on Sunday. But we're going to finish today with Rockin' Robin. Because why not? Rockin' Robin with the ukulele. Time to twiddly dee. Here we go. And uh... twiddly dee, 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 sweet, 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 sweet. He rocks in the treetops all day long, hopping and a bopping and a singing this song. All the little birdies on Jaybird Street. Love to hear the robin going sweet, 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 rockin' robin, tweet, 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 whoa, rockin' robin, tweet, blow rockin' robin, cause we're really gonna rock tonight. Every little swallow, every chickadee, every little birdie in the tall oak tree, the wise old owl, big black crow, flapping their wings, singing go bird, go rockin' robin, whoa, rockin' robin. Here we go. Pretty little Ray went at the perfect stand. Taught him how to do the bop and it was grand. Started to go steady, bless my soul. He outbopped the buzzard and the Oriole. He rocks in the treetop all day long. Hopping and bopping and singing his song. All the little birdies on Jaber Street love to hear the robin going sweet, sweet, sweet. Rockin' robin. Rockin' robin. Started going steadily, bless my soul. He hop up the buzzer down the Oriole. He rocks in the treetops all day long. Hopping and a popping and singing this song. All the little birdies on Jaybird Street love to hear the robin going tweet, tweet, tweet. Rock and robin. Whoa, rock and robin. Blow, rock and robin, cause you're really Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming to my Nervous Breakdown today. I really hope you've enjoyed a very special ukulele-flavoured fun Friday. Some of you have probably clicked off long ago and unsubscribed. I'm sorry about that. I do hope that uh, it hasn't been too traumatic. Those of you who are new, though, who have come along and thought, actually, I quite like this ukulele, um, this rather mad choir master who's playing and singing along, well, don't forget to click subscribe, tell all your friends about us, because, well, there ain't no channel quite like Home Choir. I'm going to see you on Sunday morning, everyone, for something completely different. No ukulele, lovely sacred music, Mendelssohn, Bach, Purcell, and some gospel singing. And then next week, 
We're doing a recording project. We've got English folk music and drinking songs next week. Where else do you get this variety of fun and music? And of course, wonderful, wonderful um, comradeship and friendship in the comments. What a great group you are. Enjoy your weekend, everyone. Take it easy. Be kind to yourselves, particularly those of you who've been playing along today and those of you who are under the weather. We send lots of love to all of you and we'll see you soon. All the best, folks.